Speaking of great fundamental companies, Jim, what about tech? I mean, those are the names that got us to these all-time highs. Are they going to continue to take us there? We got NVIDIA coming out tomorrow. Well, okay, so let's talk about NVIDIA. Uh, I want to give a hat tip to Josh, who's, you know, the one I think of all of us who's been in it the longest, maybe you too, Jason. Um, but look, the, the report is likely to be very good tomorrow. There's no reason to think it will be otherwise when you look at what the hyperscalers are talking about, CapEx, and basically every news item is people can't get enough of the chips. As far as the short-term price action, I would say really don't pay attention to it. A lot of this has to do with short-dated options that are people putting on to play the pop, presumably after earnings happen and then they sell the calls and that makes the stock go down. So don't be worried about the short term action. Um, regarding tech in general, I think for the same reasons that we've all been talking about earlier in the show, people are going to be loath to sell these going into year end. Again, you don't want to take a taxable gain. And if you're indexed or in some way benchmarked, you're not going to want to take the risk of falling behind the benchmark. By the way, and I just want to tie this into what Josh was saying a second ago, when you talk about bottom fishing and why it's really a bad idea right now mm -hmm. is because the opposite of what I just said applies. Mm -hmm. The things that have gotten decimated this year are likely to be tax loss candidates. They're likely to get bare mauled in December. That's not where you want to be shopping right now. Josh Brown emphasizes NVIDIA unique strength in the tech sector, noting its resilience despite broader challenges. The significant options activity and delayed earnings report may signal heightened anticipation for its future performance. It's definitely a stock to watch. Jason Lander, you've owned a video. Jim just said you might have been in it the longest. What do you make ahead of the print? Is it too late for someone that hasn't gotten in at the price action that we're seeing now? I don't think so. Okay. I think I think the question is obviously is how how sustainable is this on a ongoing AI compute demand? How how sustainable it is going forward? Um, yes, the stock's up 189 uh, percent year to date. We're expecting about 33 billion dollars worth of revenue. We probably will surpass that somewhat. I think in the next quarter, however, when you really start to see Blackwell come through, uh, that will be the bang out quarter, which is the quarter that we're we're working through right now, which we potentially see 38 billion dollars worth of revenue. Um, so I continue to like this story. We again, we hear from the hyperscalers and all the capex spend that's going um, in this space. That obviously Nvidia continues to capture. There's not a lot of competition for them currently. Um, so I continue to like the stock, and I think that you know maybe maybe you're not buying it right here, but there will be opportunities that will present themselves. We've seen how this stock has traded over the last few. Years. Josh Brown breaks down the bullish options trade on Nvidia, highlighting the steep price increase needed to break even. This underscores the high expectations investors have for the stock's future performance, emphasizing significant confidence. You were nodding. Yeah, well, what I was thinking about as you asked the question and Jason was answering about uh, uh, individual retail flows, um, the rate on cash has come down. Now it's still yep. attractive. I mean, let's let's yep. make sure we know that. It's still attractive and it still gives an after inflation return, but it's 75 basis points lower than it was. So on the margin, that should incentivize some people to get into the market. Let's be clear, this is not Tina. You know, there is an alternative at, you know, four and a half, four to three quarters on, on cash, but it's not as attractive. Um, what I'll tell you, though, an acronym I will use here for the retail investors, FOMO applies again. Mm -hmm. You know, people see what's going on in the markets even after the pause. They see that the numbers these analysts are putting out. Josh Brown breaks down the bullish options trade on Nvidia, highlighting the steep price increase needed to break even. This underscores the high expectations investors have for the stock's future performance, emphasizing significant confidence. Strategists, rather, for targets are 6,000 plus. That's a big number. People right. are saying, wait a second, that's a whole new millennium. That is going to incite the animal spirits uh, that can be, uh, you know, can be captured by the term FOMO. There's $6.4 trillion of cash in money markets. So I'm not saying all of that is going to come into the equity markets. And to yeah. your point, there are a lot of alternatives, including alternatives. And I think that, markets, yeah. so, so there's a lot you can do with your money these days, mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's happening. But I also, to your question on our companies, are they feeling better? Mm -hmm. I think we heard from... Josh Brown highlights that purchasing such large call options is purely speculative, not a hedge. With call volume significantly outpacing puts ahead of earnings, it reflects strong bullish sentiment around NVIDIA's future performance. I share stock market's latest news, datas and important information on my Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with these things before everyone else. Open the description of this video, click on my Telegram channel's link, and simply join my Telegram channel. Josh Brown points out the impressive rebound in mega cap tech, particularly Nvidia 25% surge. While other giants like Meta and Alphabet also rise, recent downgrades could complicate the outlook for these stocks. It's a critical... Josh Brown highlights Microsoft's target cut, 
reflecting cautious sentiment despite Goldman's bullish stance. This tactical adjustment suggests investors are weighing potential risks, indicating a more measured approach to mega cap tech as market dynamics. In this segment, Josh Brown provides a detailed overview of the performance of major tech stocks over the past month, highlighting some key trends in the market. He starts by noting that Meta formerly known as Facebook has experienced a substantial increase of 17.5%, while Alphabet Google's parent company is up by 10%. These figures suggest a strong resurgence in these companies, which have historically faced their own challenges but are now gaining momentum. Brown then shifts focus to NVIDIA, a significant player in the tech industry, particularly known for its graphics processing units, GPUs and contributions to artificial intelligence. He points out that NVIDIA's stock price is nearing its all-time high of $58. This is noteworthy as it reflects a broader bullish sentiment in the market especially with the SP500 approaching the 5,800 mark, an impressive level that indicates overall market strength. The phrase rarefied air suggests that both NVIDIA and the SP500 are entering an elite territory in terms of stock performance, which can often be seen as a positive indicator for investors. However, amidst this optimistic outlook, Brown also emphasizes the recent downgrades and target price cuts that have occurred over the past week, indicating a more cautious sentiment for some stocks. He specifically mentions Microsoft, which has seen its target price reduced from $515 to $506. This downgrade can signal concerns among analysts about the company's future performance or potential challenges it might face, even while other tech giants are thriving. By contrasting the strong performance of some stocks with the downgrades of others, I use a stock market strategy in which I pick 10 stocks every month using artificial intelligence and get massive returns. Using this strategy, I have turned $4,000 into $143,000 in the last one year. The 10 stocks I bought last month has given me 177% return, and I have again bought these 10 stocks. If you want to learn the strategy which I have revealed in my three-hour course and get access to see which 10 stocks I'm buying every month and which trades I'm taking, plus all these benefits, click the link in description and join my Patreon. Join fast because this is a limited time offer. Brown paints a nuanced picture of the current market landscape. This dual perspective highlights the complexities that investors must navigate, as some sectors experience growth while others may not be meeting expectations. Overall, Brown's commentary underscores the importance of monitoring individual stock performance, even in a generally bullish market environment, and serves as a reminder that caution and thorough analysis remain crucial in investment strategies. Josh Brown's statement indicates a nuanced perspective on a stock or investment that has received an overweight rating from Goldman Sachs. An overweight rating typically suggests that analysts believe the asset is likely to outperform its peers or the overall market. This rating reflects confidence in the stock's potential for growth and profitability. However, when Brown mentions that people are at least on a tactical basis, he seems to be pointing out that while the long-term outlook may be positive, investors might be adopting a more short-term, strategic approach in their trading decisions. This suggests that, despite the bullish sentiment, there are immediate factors or market conditions influencing investor behavior. In practical terms, this could mean that traders are focusing on specific catalysts like upcoming earnings reports, economic data releases, or market trends that could impact the stock's price in the near term. They may be looking to capitalize on price movements rather than committing to a long-term investment strategy. This tactical mindset could involve buying and selling based on short-term signals, rather than relying solely on the overall positive outlook suggested by the overweight rating. Brown is emphasizing a layered understanding of market sentiment. While the stock is favored by analysts for its growth potential, investors are also mindful of the dynamics at play in the short term, which could affect their trading strategies and decisions. In this segment, Josh Brown highlights an interesting trend in the options market concerning NVIDIA, a company that has captured a lot of attention due to its impressive market performance. He points out that there's an unusual level of bullish activity, especially around call options set to expire in the spring of 2025. What stands out is that NVIDIA, now one of the largest companies by market capitalization, is currently trading at an all-time high. Typically, you might expect some caution from investors at this level, but the opposite is occurring. The significant buying of call options across a range of strike prices from $150 to $189 signals that many traders are confident the stock will continue to rise. Brown, who identifies as a cash equities trader, shares that while he doesn't directly engage in the options market, he frequently discusses trends with those who do. One of these is Joe Famey, a prominent financial analyst. 
Their conversations reveal a sentiment that is not commonly seen it indicates a strong belief in NVIDIA's future, particularly regarding its growth and innovation in areas like artificial intelligence and gaming. Josh Brown is likely discussing an investment or stock that Goldman Sachs has rated as overweight meaning they believe it will perform better than the market average, when he mentions that people are at least on a tactical basis. He might be suggesting that investors are considering short-term strategies or specific conditions for trading this stock, rather than just a long-term buy-and-hold approach. Essentially, he's highlighting a focus on immediate market movements or opportunities, despite the overall positive rating from Goldman. He then transitions to discuss the broader context of the tech market, mentioning that after a period of lackluster performance, major technology stocks have seen a resurgence, with communication services and tech sectors leading gains of nearly 10%. He specifically points out NVIDIA's impressive 25% increase, suggesting that investor confidence in the company and the tech sector is returning. Overall, he's emphasizing a positive shift in market sentiment and performance in the tech space. In this segment, Josh Brown is discussing the performance of major tech stocks over the past month. He highlights that Meta Facebook is up 17.5% and Alphabet Google is up 10%, indicating strong performance from these companies. He then mentions NVIDIA, noting that its stock is approaching its all-time high of $58 as the SP500 also nears 5,800 points, suggesting a bullish trend in the market. Brown also points out that there have been recent downgrades and target cuts for certain stocks, specifically mentioning Microsoft, which had its target price reduced from $515 to $506. This suggests a cautious outlook on some stocks despite the overall positive trends in the tech sector. Essentially, he's reflecting on the mixed signals in the market, with some companies thriving while others face revised expectations. Josh Brown is likely discussing an investment or stock that Goldman Sachs has rated as overweight meaning they believe it will perform better than the market average, when he mentions that people are at least on a tactical basis. He might be suggesting that investors are considering short-term strategies or specific conditions for trading this stock, rather than just a long-term buy-and-hold approach. Essentially, he's highlighting a focus on immediate market movements or opportunities, despite the overall positive rating from Goldman. In the segment, Josh Brown is pointing out an intriguing phenomenon in the options market related to NVIDIA, a company that has garnered significant attention due to its market performance. He notes that there's an exceptional amount of bullish options activity, particularly surrounding call options set to expire in the spring of 2025. What makes this noteworthy is the context NVIDIA is currently one of the largest companies by market capitalization and is trading at an all-time high. Typically you might expect that a stock already at such heights would see some caution among investors, but the opposite is happening here. The aggressive buying of call options across a wide range of strike prices from $150 all the way up to $189 indicates a strong belief among traders that the stock will continue to rise. Brown, who identifies himself as a cash equities trader, emphasizes that while he's not directly involved in the options market, he engages with many people who are. One of these individuals is Joe Famey, a well-known figure in financial analysis. Their conversations reveal a sentiment that is not commonly seen it reflects a robust confidence in NVIDIA's future performance, especially as it relates to its potential for growth and innovation in sectors like artificial intelligence and gaming. This surge in bullish options activity raises several questions. For instance, what are the catalysts that traders believe will drive NVIDIA's stock higher in the coming months? Are there specific products, technological advancements, or market conditions that could influence this trajectory? Additionally, Brown's observations invite discussion around broader market trends and investor sentiment, particularly in high growth sectors. He seems to encourage his audience to explore these dynamics further, implying that understanding this level of bullishness could provide valuable insights into the overall market environment and the confidence investors have in NVIDIA's strategic direction. The implications of such activity can have ripple effects, influencing both market sentiment and investment strategies across various sectors. Josh Brown is highlighting a significant trading phenomenon involving thousands of options contracts for a particular stock, which he emphasizes is not driven by retail investors. This points to a more sophisticated player in the market, possibly an institutional investor or hedge fund, making a strategic bet. He notes that these trades are substantial and suggest a strong belief in the stock's potential to continue reaching new highs as earnings season approaches. 
The fact that the options are far out of the money meaning the strike price is well above the current stock price indicates a high level of confidence that the stock will rally significantly in the future. Additionally, he mentions that the March expiration date is far off, which adds to the impression that this investor is taking a long-term view on the stock's performance. Brown contrasts this stock's trajectory with that of other major tech giants, which have been experiencing lackluster performance. This distinction serves to underscore the stock's resilience and unique potential for growth, suggesting that it is thriving even when its peers are struggling. In essence, he is emphasizing how this trading activity reflects broader market sentiments and showcases the stock's strong positioning amidst challenges facing the technology sector as a whole. This alludes to the idea that the stock may be seen as a standout investment opportunity in a challenging market environment. Josh Brown's commentary reflects a nuanced understanding of the current market dynamics and the broader economic landscape. He emphasizes the resilience of the market, suggesting that despite periods of uncertainty or negative sentiment, the market often surprises observers by rebounding and demonstrating strength. His phrase is just getting warmed up. Indicates that he believes there's potential for continued growth or upward movement, even when it seems like the momentum has shifted or stalled. When he mentions March 2025, it signals a specific time frame that he and his audience should keep an eye on. This date could represent a critical period for various economic indicators, corporate earnings, or perhaps even broader geopolitical events that could impact the market. By highlighting this point, Brown is inviting listeners to consider the long-term perspective, and not just the immediate fluctuations or challenges that the market faces. Additionally, his reference to NVIDIA as the latest major tech stock to report earnings underscores the importance of mega-cap companies in shaping market sentiment. These large firms often serve as bellwethers for the overall health of the tech sector and, by extension, the economy. NVIDIA's performance, especially in the context of advancements in areas like artificial intelligence and semiconductors, can significantly influence investor confidence and market trends. 